Hello travelers, so recently in the previous video I mentioned that I upgraded to the Sony a7C which is a full frame camera but in an APS-C sort of a66000 uh, size body and I thought I'd take a look at a couple of different slings and see if there was any new options available that might sort of fit the traveling needs. So my sling of choice has been the Tenba BYOB7 pack light. It's like a packable sling bag and it has been really handy in my previous trips. I've been using it a lot. But I'd always been keeping my eye on the Peak Designs bags and the everyday 3 litre sling is roughly the same size and I'll show you in a moment and it does fit my entire kit. So I did purchase the Peak Designs everyday sling with my own money, not sponsored in any way with this video. Um, but I will be sending this one back for reasons that I'll explain at the end of the video. I have the black here in the 3 litre size. The material and zippers are water resistant and there's a lot of generous padding and it feels very well made and durable. There's a lot of pockets hidden in and around the bag and it's fairly spacious for a 3 litre bag. You can also use the included strap to attach a jacket, towel or a tripod to the outside if you like. I was able to fit my Rode Wireless Go microphones a spare battery and tripod, as well as my Sony with the 18mm lens attached. I do like how the bag balances and the strap is very well designed and comfortable to adjust. However, when I first got the bag, the strap is actually set up for right-handed people who wear the bag on the left shoulder. But luckily the strap can easily be re-threaded to flip around so that it is more comfortable to wear for left-handed use, which is wearing it on the right shoulder. Now while there's a lot I like about this bag, there's one thing I can't overlook and that is the weight of it. It weighs a rather hefty 550 grams or 1.21 pounds according to their website while empty and for a bag this size it feels like it's a little bit too much. Especially when I compare it to the 25 litre Able Carry backpack here for example which is only 30 grams more or 1 ounce more at 580 grams or 1.27 pounds. And the BYOB7 Packlight bag weighs only 250 grams while empty, or 0.5 pounds. So it's over double the weight, and I don't think its features or pockets necessarily make up for it. The timber is also cheaper and more versatile, since the padded cube can be removed and put into other bags more easily. I think in some ways it's also good to consider the discreetness of the bags. The BYOB bag is more discreet and doesn't look expensive or like it would have anything expensive inside. Whereas the Peak Designs bag looks nicer and more expensive and in a way is advertising that you're carrying expensive camera gear. So overall I do like the Peak Designs sling, however I will be returning it and continuing to use the BYOV7. I hope that Peak Designs comes out with some sort of lightweight series of bags in the future because I do like their designs and implementations but their bags are always heavier than they really need to be. Please do leave a comment down below what is your favourite sling or everyday bag that you carry when you're travelling or if you do carry a camera kit or not and be sure to stay subscribed to keep up to date with future videos.